Hi, I'm Matt Julius with St. Cloud State's Phytoplankton Laboratory, part of the Minnesota State System's Energy Center of Excellence. I was formally trained as an algal ecologist and evolutionary biologist, but over the last decade, I've started to use this knowledge and skill set to produce large quantities of targeted algal biomass. From the beginning, these efforts have involved anaerobic digestion as a source of energy and nutrients for that algal biomass produced. In this case, nutrients means both the typical elements associated with traditional fertigation, as well as carbon dioxide reclaimed from the exhaust produced during power generation. These past efforts have led to an initiative on my campus in which we are installing a small-scale anaerobic digestion system for the production of nutrients to be used in my algal production facility and the university's greenhouse. This work has been largely supported by Excel Energy's Renewable Development Fund and the anaerobic digestion system was produced by the UK's CAB Corporation. The unit will re represent one of the first installations in North America. In addition to Excel Energy and CAB, the Phytoplankton Lab works with a number of regional, national, and international collaborators. Some of this effort is to produce algal biomass that is already market established for the production of dietary oils and algal-based proteins. However, these products only represent a very small fraction of the species diversity seen in algae. So a lot of the work that we do with collaborators involves identifying new species for specific applied application. Amongst the most exciting of these efforts is a collaboration that I have with Drs. Pamela Walsh and Fraser Buchanan at Queen's University in Belfast. Together, we are exploiting the biomineralization properties of certain algal species to produce bio-derived nanomaterials for human medical application. Specifically, we have done research and continue to do research where algal produce nanostructures are being used to regenerate bones where damage has occurred through breakage or cancer. This work has been very successful thus far in model systems. This research collaboration has been helped by the ability of the phytoplankton lab to produce large kilogram quantities of targeted algal biomass for the use in research efforts such as this. If you're interested in more information about St. Claude State University's phytoplankton laboratory, please check out our webpage at julieslab.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.